Hello and welcome to another day of me, Dave the Enlightened Plumber, and uh, I have another quote for you today. So today's quote is, dream big and dare to fail. So that is, dream big and dare to fail. So this is from Norman Vaughn, and this quote is short and simple, and well, it's short and simple, but the ramifications of this quote are not necessarily short and simple. Um, so dream big and uh, uh, dream big and dare to fail. So the idea is dreaming big is something we need to do. We need to have large, massive goals. Uh, we need to think beyond ourselves and try and get out of the, the daily drudgery of going, well, geez, today, uh, what's on my plate? It's just a to-do list. And all I've got are, say, you know, the shopping and cleaning the car and going to work and, you know, just coming back and watch TV, whatever, right? You know, just, just that's my day and my, the, those four, my goals are not even thought about. They're just the daily activities, the to-do lists, right? Which do make you feel good and some to-dos are worthwhile. So the dreaming big is, as I've kind of mentioned before, we're looking for, okay, what can I do with my world? What can I do with my life? Maybe I can take my family on this massive vacation where I don't have to worry about money. I don't have to think, oh, I've got to save up for this for 10 years to, you know, to kind of go, let's just hop on this you know, yacht. Let's go out in a yacht. Let's go see this uh, private island somewhere and we'll jump off the back of the yacht and swim with the fishes. Um, you know, I don't know, we'll, we'll fly there first class, whatever it is. We're going to take the whole family. We're going to go and we're going to be gone for like three weeks, you know, three months, maybe who, who knows, right? Something different, something special. It becomes the goal of like, okay, that's what we're going to do. So dream big. It could be changing a career. It could be buying a fancy car it could be whatever you want whatever's huge for your life right um it doesn't have to be massive it, it, you know whatever whatever excites you whatever you think is big is awesome because it excites you makes you feel uncomfortable and kind of like oh i don't know is it gonna be me so that's what you want to do that's dreaming big and then daring to fail it's like well okay this is the bit that that kind of gets into people's minds because daring to fail i don't want to fail I, I've spent my entire life not failing. In fact, I'm really awesome at everything I do. Whatever I do, it's going to be great. I'm going to write a letter to someone, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. Or um, maybe, I, oh wait, I'm going to I'm going to do a resume for my job. Well, I'm going to spend three months on it and make sure that it's perfect. Every letter is exactly right. It's in the right place, and then I'm going to send it off, right? Or um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do a presentation, a slideshow, or something. Oh, it's got to be perfect. Um, you know, it could be one of these things that, hey, you know what, I'm going to write a book because, you know, being an author is like the best thing in the world. It's like, okay, well, great. You know, people want to know that, well, I can't, I can't write it. I can't release it unless every word is perfect. Every sentence has to be punctuated. Probably, oh, I can't fail. I can't do that. Right. Um, oh, or maybe, maybe it's a question of going out shopping and not coming back with everything you went out to get. Oh. Failed, failed, no, it's terrible. Okay, so again, failure's uh, a bad thing, right? Oh, it's a bad thing. So we've been taught, we go through school and failing's a bad thing, cheating's bad, right? These are all bad things from, from our upbringing as the status quo, the society around us kind of goes. But in reality, if you're looking at trying to improve your life, you need to fail. Anything really great in your life, anything superb that's come from an, an achievement, some super wow thing that's kind of grown, has failed probably at least once, if not multiple times to get there. And we can go back to some of these classic examples that are getting used a lot and a lot and a lot. Okay, well, you know, we were all kids, right? Okay, so um, we came out, we're, we're getting bottle fed or whatever. Uh, we're, you know, oh wait, Hmm, I failed at putting on my underpants because, wait, I was put in a diaper for like, you know, the first several years of my life, right? Oh, geez, that was a failure. Uh, then let's see, I tried to walk. Oh, I failed at that because I couldn't get up for, for years, maybe, right? Could be months, could be years, right? Depends on the kid and the environment, but you failed getting, getting to walk. It's like, well, how could you fail? You succeeded. Oh, you succeeded in the end. But how many times did you fail? How many times did you, oh my God, how many months did you spend crawling across that floor, failing to walk? 
months, right? You failed the whole time. Oh, what about all those times you stood up there and you were and you were holding on to the little side, you're like shaking away in your little booties and all, boom, you fall down on your bum and you're like, okay, I failed again, right? Well, one, as a kid, you do not see that as failure and I would say that probably no one watching this video even thought about that as failure at that point that you were doing it. You didn't know any better. Hey, I'm just still learning. Um, what about your parents? Oh, did they think you failed at those points when you tried to walk? Absolutely not. The same can be said for riding a bike. How many times did you fall off? Oh, oh boy. I don't know. Me? I fell off my bike lots of times. And that was after I supposedly knew how to do it. So failure is, is a bad thing. Um, or so we're thought, right? So in actual fact, let's flip that on its head and say failure in actual fact is a great thing and it, the most successful people have failed more often than not. Um, for those people who are the sports fans out there uh, watching this, okay, you can look at all your sports legends, your sports heroes, and go the fastest runners, the fastest horses, the, the fastest cars, whatever, they're the fastest and they get paid all the big bucks. And how much faster are they really? they're probably not even like one to 5% faster than, than the rest of the people who are close. Oh no, those Olympic swimmers, and they've won by what, that three tenths of a second or something? I mean, come on, this is, this is crazy, right? But the rest of them are failures because they didn't go fast enough. So, you know, but the people who are up top, they also failed because they've had to have lost races. They've had to have not hit the mark or hit their their goals the whole time. So, uh, let's see, we, we look at uh, baseball players, right? That's another one I've heard a, a number of times that they're hitting their targets and they'll swing out and not hit home runs like multiple, multiple times. And yet, you know, they hit the home runs and they've got the massive thing and they're in the Hall of Fame and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, okay, but you failed 70% of the time. No one cares because your wins are much better than that, right? So you do need to fail. You need to put yourself out there to fail because unless you dare to fail, you never have the chance of succeeding. So if you haven't jumped out of a plane with a parachute on your back or gone tandem, you failed at skydiving. That's pretty much it. The only other way to fail at skydiving is to, well, actually, if you hit the ground after jumping out of the plane, you haven't really failed at skydiving. It's not the outcome anybody wants, and it's pretty horrible to think about. But in actual fact, you, you succeeded at skydiving. It was the landing that, that, that got you, right? So the only way you can fail in, in reality is to not try. So dream big and dare to fail and fail often and fast because it's the best thing for you. So thank you, uh, Norman Vaughn, and thank you all my uh, watchers, listeners, and everything else, and um, have yourself a great day.